What's up, guys? It is Jack and Ray from MachineHunter.com. Hello. And Ray, today we are doing five facts in Call of Duty Black Ops. No, the first one. Both. The first one. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I thought we can do Black Ops 2, which I thought was weird because we knew Black Ops. But now it all no, makes sense. No, no, so we're just doing Black Ops. Black Ops 1. Yeah, Black Ops uh, Black uh, Black Ops 1. <laughs> I'll have to make it racist. Yeah, I had a long night last night, yeah. Ray. I think it sounds, right. by the sound of your voice, I'm you sick a... as fuck. Okay, well, there Thanks, you go. Thanks, Michael. Fantastic. Well, that's, that's Gavin's microphone, typically, yeah. so uh, you should be good to go. All right, so we're going to do five hacks in this one. Let's, Let's start off. Let's go fast. You know what this game is, and we're going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. Number one, Call of Duty Black Ops was the first game ever that Treyarch devoted their entire staff with no other projects in development. Well, so they took their entire team the, to the make Call of Duty game. before this they made was World at War. I have no idea what else they were working on. That was 2007, no, seven maybe? I, uh, uh, possibly, I don't know. I don't the know. only other Treyarch game that I know came out around that time was the Quantum of Solace game. Oh, yeah, I which actually wasn't bad for a movie-based game, the 007 yeah. movie. Those franchise games are tough to do. Yeah. But anyway, that's cool. Yeah. So they got their whole Clock. team on it. Good good yep. job, everybody. Number two, the crossbow in the game was inspired by a story by Vietnam combat consultant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a title. Vietnam combat consultant Major John Plaster, where a member of SOG would equip himself with a bow and modify it for certain missions. I just thought it was from Rambo. Yeah? Rambo inspired. Well, it was, what's John Rambo? So yeah. Maybe John Plaster is, is uh, actually John Rambo. There you go. It's his we, cover. <laughs> there we go. All right, number three, the zombie map Moon is called Zombie underscore Paris in the console game's code because originally the map was going to be set in Paris. However, Treyarch decided to change it because they wanted to go out with a bang. You blow up the earth. Actually. Yeah. So that's how that ends. Oh, is that how it is? Yeah. I never got to the, the end of that. The big Easter egg convoluted piece of shit. It's like, oh, yeah, you blew up the earth. Congratulations. Like, oh, all right. Like, oh, uh, shit. Oops. Yep. And all that right, leads guys. into the events of Black Ops 2. Nice. All right. And moving on, uh, number four. According to Treyarch uh, sound designer Kevin Sherwood, there were actually originally going to be jingles following kill streaks, similar to the jingles after challenges are completed or become expired. They can be found on Sherwood's YouTube channel, so go check those out. Look at that. He's stealing assets and uploading it to his. He probably hasn't monetized that <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that dick. And last but not least, the purple house outside of the multiplayer map, Nuketown, is modeled after the house from the TV show The Brady Bunch. Oh, that's awesome. That I think is one of the cool. I think it's one of the houses outside the map, so you really can't go yeah. uh, That can't Nuketown go map is really, really cool. Yeah, that's and a fun then they, map. they remade it in uh, Black Ops 2, Nuketown yeah, 2025. Was it Black Ops 1 where you could run on shoot uh, shoot the heads of the, of the mannequins? That was uh, 2025. Okay, oh, that was, that was yeah. the new one. But anyway, uh, that's Black Ops. That's actually a really, really solid game. Probably my favorite Treyarch Call of Duty, yep. I would say. Um, yeah, obviously, it's you know it's classic. Go check it out, and we'll be back next week with more 5 Facts. Bye.